And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers, and they face Clermont Foot. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, Raul Jimenez, a man who knows how to finish with the very best of them. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him in this match? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. The initial 11 for Wolves. Ruben Neves plays alongside João Moutinho in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And so the battle commences. He's taken on his real chance. And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And you can sense the threat is there. Could be threatening. Well, beating his opponent. No problems grabbing hold of that one. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Cedric Untonji. And on the ball, Bertomie. Options in the middle. Vital and Simba. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Oh, great attacking play. Crucial interception amid impending danger. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Disappointingly, straight into the wall. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. 
A really top-notch piece of defending. For Dance. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? I must say, this looks promising. But they dealt with the threat posed. Vincao. Jimenez. It's with Moutinho. Excellent defending. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Ruben Neves. Nelson Semedo has it. Trincao. Ruben Neves. Encouraging move from Wolves. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Excellent ball over the top. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Well, getting very close to the half-time interval, and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Moving forward effectively. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. So, a corner here. <laughs> Delivering it. A decisive clearance it was. Gastia. Happy to take on the shot. It's still alive. That is that for the first half here. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Unless that changes, they're going to struggle to turn this one around. And the second half is underway with Wolves behind. Can they turn this match around? Jimenez. And foxing the defender. Oh, excellent diving stop. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. They take it short. Marvellous anticipation. Thumps clear. Well, it was completely miscontrolled. D'Artomier. The 
won it back. And he did well to cut it out. Chance to do damage. A foul, but advantage played. It's there for him. Oh, that is a superb save. So making the substitution now. Can someone get on the end of this? Or just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Ruben Neves. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Martinho on to Jimenez. Dangerous looking through ball. It's opening up for them. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And into the last 20 minutes. Jimenez. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Bertomier. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. And Wolves in a position of menace. And fed forwards. A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Over it comes. And did his job defensively. That is how to apply the pressure. An alert intervention. Down by a goal. This could be their final opportunity to snatch something. Now well, able to close down the short. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. <laughs> Playing it short. Well, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision.
Untonji. Amel. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. Crossing possibilities. Preferring to go infield. Amel. Chance to finish. Well, flinging himself at it. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And there's the delivery. Well, it has come to nothing. It's looking promising. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Well, Wolves need to step it up here because their fans have been brilliant. Can they get this equaliser, though? Options in the centre. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. So the referee brings this match to an end. The final whistle is sounded and far from the ideal scoreline from the Wolves' point of view. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.